my hey so let me do the obligatory routine nothing gained but glory just finish playing uh, every scenario and you know the system is a wonderful one. there's no question of that by the last couple games as I got used to it it really, really became clear to me why I decided I am going to buy every single one of these. They're very good. Uh, this one had an initial, uh, there was an initial hurdle for me of saying, okay, look, I don't even see a battle I recognize in this list. Uh, you know, I see some towns I recognize, Lund, Malmo, but these aren't you know, we're getting real late. Well, it's not the Thirty Years' War. It's the Scanian War. And it's a pretty little... Uh, it's very unknown, I'd say, at least in America. Certainly, I, I guess it's a little better understood in Sweden and Denmark. But it's not looked at as one of those uh, great wars. It, it's, it's uh, you know, like the Thirty Years' War, obviously. It's probably seen by most people as a part of that whole uh, Louis the Fourteenth era of wars, whatever they are, wherever they are. But in kind of a corner of that period, just not one that uh, a lot of people, I would guess, outside of Scandinavia have a lot of familiarity with. That said, uh, there are some nice factors to this. Things that make the system shine, I think, in ways that certainly Gustavus Adolphus did not, the Gustavus Adolphus uh, got in Victorious Arms, didn't really capture in the same way. Now, I love the way you have those big ponderous units that just kind of dominate the center of the board in the earlier games. That doesn't exist here. And my f first thought on that was, oh, I like double size units. Um, there's a lot of mobility here. It's closer to those pure cav battles that showed up in Gustavanov. But it's not quite as tangled and messy as you know, the Polish battles there. The terrain's hard. And what does that mean? Well, for me, it meant I made a fool out of myself uh, trying to operate under, you know, standard Central European formations when the terrain just couldn't. You know, <laughs> those formations couldn't last in that terrain. And that was definitely an, an issue in my enjoyment as well as in the outcome of the scenarios. By the time I got uh, to the last couple of scenarios, I feel like I was beginning to get more of a feeling for what to do with it. I'm relearning sort of the lessons that maybe I had learned the, with the first set of games. By the last game, I was just absolutely in love with the system again. Uh, it had been kind of tedious in the, the early ones. I started wondering, is this really as good as I remember it? Uh, you know, I'm seeing kind of nice things, or is it just me? Am I not in the right mood? Well, probably a combination. I was probably a little bit not in the right mood, but I was also probably very disturbed by not having read the rules and, you know, kind of focused on them as heavily thinking, I've just played this not that long ago, uh, I should be able to pick it up again right away. Well, I'm either getting too old for that, or uh, I don't know what else. <laughs> I'm getting too old. Uh, I, I, I would say there's definitely a, a steep learning curve on this. I'm sure that there are people who can pick it up. If it's a game system that you play a lot of, that you focus on heavily, like some people do with ASL or some people with great battles of history, well, you know, you're, you're going to be good all the time. For me, though, I generally will probably pick one of these up every year, every, every six months or something at most, and it's probably going to be a rough slog through the first couple scenarios as I try to relearn the, the, the system and how it works. Uh, so I was asked, what battle do I like the best? Well, look, I had the most fun on Warsaw. Uh, 
that was great. I mean, it was short, it was fast, it, it seemed so random what actually happened, you know? <laughs> I don't feel like I made a horrible mistake. I feel like a couple of die rolls determined that very early on. Uh, Lance Karma was also a lot of fun, but I think that the primary factor there was my learning curve rather than anything else. Uh, Malmo, I love that it gave a siege. Um, I, I'm a little torn as to how well the system holds up through it. Uh, I'm glad that it does it. It's kind of a cool, it's a beautiful map. It's kind of, they all are really, but it's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of like playing some of the, the ASL scenarios that just feel too cluttered, too crowded, I guess. Uh, most ASL scenarios. It just, it didn't feel like there was any maneuver, any 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 real actions. It was just fighting over, over the walls. And that's what it should be, but, yeah. It, 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 I can see where that would be really, really disappointing to a lot of people. I like sieges and assaults so much that to me the big piles of counters etc is a break even. Now that's one thing with this system as a whole and I don't know if I missed it the last time. I would say with Great Battles of History too. They've got that ASL-ish um, pile of counters. You know there's one counter in the hex, one unit in the hex and maybe four informational counters about it. Yeah, even even the designers ask, you think you could put the pistols underneath? Well, I don't know. I want to know that. Most of the informational counters I actually want on top because that's how I understand what's going on. But it spoils the visual of the game. And I don't mind it too much with this. I hate it in ASL because here I like the topic, ASL's World War II, and it bores me. Uh, but it definitely makes you start thinking, wow, I kind of wish I were playing minis, you know, Not, where I could have the same complexity, etc., but I've got that visual so there, and then the little markers and stuff are kind of off, off to the sides. Uh, unfortunately, because of my life, etc., I really have not been able to invest the time and the money into the minis that I would have liked. So, you know, and this is, this is just, this is so far ahead of any other system that I've seen for this era that, uh, at, le at least on a board working, that I, you know, I'm, I'm willing to put up with those stacks of counters. Uh, and they're not bad in most of the scenarios. In Malmo, they became, you know, it became too, it's too crowded, too cluttered for them. Uh, but I think most of, most of the other scenarios are very good with their, their kind of rough terrain that keeps you in lighter uh, open formation. But also, there's enough room to move around in a couple of scenarios. There's no question of that. I mean, even in, in Warsaw, which is a tiny board, there's so few pieces that there's a lot of maneuver room. I'm really happy to see a little bit more space between the armies before they engage. Uh, a little bit more of the setup period, especially in things like uh, Landskron and Lund. Anyway, uh, I had a good time with this. I think anybody who's a real, you know, devotee of the series probably wants to pick this one up because it is a little different, but it's using the same rules and it allows you to explore something that is of about the same era, but a little bit looser formations, etc. Uh, for someone who's outside, well, I think if you're not big on the Thirty Years War at all, this might be the best of this series for you, because it's the most like, um, it gives you the most maneuver ability, I think, out of them all. The but if you're kind of into the Thirty Years' War, but not really a huge fan of this series, I would aim for one of the other ones first, because there you're going to be playing the big historical battles that you're familiar with, and that you want to play. Uh, 
this one, you know, I think the battles have a have a smaller, uh, a lower level of uh, recognizability, which makes them a less of a good sell. But they're all fun to play. Uh, that that I'm pretty sure of, and I, I think uh, I think this is a good option for anybody who's into kind of anything tactical of this period. It's so much more interesting than American Civil War, I'll tell you that much. The, the choices, the decisions you have to make. I love playing ACW. I just, it's it's very, very simple. I mean, <laughs> you just grind your infantry together, basically. Uh, this, you do that, you lose. All right.